Why do couples break up at year seven? Dr. John Gottman studied thousands of couples, some of them he followed for 20 years. He found that half of all marriages that end do so in the first seven years. Is the seven year itch real? Rather than paying attention to what year you're in, here's a better way of determining if your relationship needs work. When you have a big argument, how often do you pull in resentments from the past? How often do you use the phrase, you always do this, or you never do that. You always ignore me when I'm talking. You never take out the trash. How often do you shut down, turn your body language away from your partner, give them the silent treatment, or even leave the house and not come back until the next morning? How often do you roll your eyes or sigh when your partner is speaking? And most importantly, if any of these things happen, how often do you circle back around and talk about the argument? It's important to express your feelings in the situation, hear each other as you express your feelings, reflect to each other that you understand why your partner might feel that way. In that way, you're validating their feelings. In that way, you're also empathizing with your partner's feelings. It's important to acknowledge your role in the situation. Identify what went wrong. At what point did the fight really escalate? What can you do differently in the future? And expressing your needs of what you'd like to see done. So whether it's three days, seven years, or 26 years, what matters is how you address resentments, hold space for each other, and attempt to meet each other's needs.